interacting with the hand there on YouTube, man. Thank you guys for tapping back in, showing love, showing support, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way in. Comment down under, subscribe if you haven't already. And as you guys can see through the title and the thumbnail, man, we got some breaking news that's not so breaking because it happened on Saturday. I was not going to speak on the subject, but I got a lot of comments under my videos. I got a few DMs, not too many DMs, more comments than anything. And, uh, I mean, I interviewed Sammy Sosa 707, a.k.a. Casper 707, about a month ago. And, obviously, this video pertains to him, his situation, what took place, allegedly. So, let's get into it. I couldn't really find too much as far as details go. I'm going to be reading a report off of, uh, I forgot what website, but if I remember, I will link it in the description so you guys can read it yourselves. Although we all know reports are never 100% accurate. They're, a lot of times they have a lot of misinformation, things like that. So I'm just going to say this is all, um, again, we all know this is all alleged. We don't know what happened, what transpired. Um, if Sammy Sosa was even there, I mean, he's in custody already. So he could have been at the wrong place at the wrong time, though. We don't know none of that. But. As I said, I'm going to be reading a report and then I'll give my uh, my opinion at the end. So it goes a little something like this. Uh, a Santa Rosa man was arrested, sat was arrested Saturday in connection with the shooting in Katadi that left another man dead, police said. Samuel Mesa was arrested on suspicion of murder about four minutes after fleeing from the scene of the afternoon shooting, which took place in the 300 block of East Katadi Avenue, said Katadi Police Sergeant Bad Baudelia Gallo or Gallo, one of the two. Mesa, 34 of Santa Rosa, was arrested nearby in the 600 block of East Katadi Avenue, Gallo said Gallo, whatever her name is. <clears throat> no, information, no information was released about the man who was shot, except that he died later at an area, at an area hospital. I'm guessing they meant to put at a nearby hospital. On Sunday, Katadi police said it had been determined that the shooting stemmed from a dispute between the suspect and the victim over an associated female. Multiple 911 callers reported the shooting at 2.29 p.m. Arriving officers were given a description of the suspect and told the direction in which he had fled. Sonoma State University and Ronner Park police officers and Sonoma County Sheriff deputies were involved in the search, Gallo said. Or Gallo. Gallo or Gallo said she did not know whether the shooting had taken place in a residence or elsewhere or where Mesa was when he was arrested. She said there, was, there were witnesses to the shooting and the weapon had been recovered. Mesa was taken into custody without incident, she said, and there is no active, uh, no active threat to the public in connection with the incident. Mesa faces charges including homicide, child endangerment, uh, felon in possession of ammunition, carrying a loaded firearm in public, possession of a large capacity magazine, and possession of an unregistered firearm. The Hellsburg Police Department and Sebastopol, Sebastopol Police Department assisted in the investigation the case remains under investigation and anyone with information can keep it to themselves because we ain't telling nothing to the police and that's the end of the report so again let me say the charges just to, to kind of speak on them a little bit because there's one that i really don't like on there um so one obviously 187 homicide and then the one that i you know that i don't like is the two two seven three a uh child endanger endangerment but that one could be as they said they don't know if it was if the shooting was indoors or outdoors it could have been that there was a child at the home when you know the the incident took place uh or a child was near whatever i don't know the ins and outs of it all i know is what the report said um but as we always say innocent until proven guilty i can't say that i am uh that i know anything more i pretty much know what everybody else knows and uh that's all i can really say about it <clears throat> now i'll talk about casper or uh sammy sosa so sammy sosa obviously he was an he is an uh, an ex upstate sureño rapper that went by the name casper 707 he wanted to rebrand and made his you know his record label block monsters um mafia all that stuff um he actually had just got out from the feds right when I did that interview on my channel, like I said, you'll see it 
on my past lives it was about a month ago maybe a month and a half ago maybe that's as much as i'll go i think it was about a month and a half ago he had just gotten out that that last monday so i think the interview was like on a wednesday or a thursday maybe a friday and he had just got out monday and he was planning on dropping new music uh visuals mixtapes all that good stuff but as we all know things happen um again this is all alleged i don't know if he's if it was him or not we don't know that uh it doesn't matter how close he was the description that matched none of that i don't know none of us know innocent until proven guilty is all i can really say but it sucks man because he had a talent and i hope he does it, this is not i hope the talent isn't thrown away because of this incident because uh i mean for one well actually let me say this Again, rest in peace to the to the man who lost his life. I believe he was 25 or 26. He was young. Um, so, you know, my condolences to the family, to the friends, the people that knew him, um, the people from the area. I um, I do I, I did see the name, but I'm not gonna say it just out of respect. And uh, by the details in the report, man, be careful what girls you guys talk to, mess with all that stuff, because you never know, man. A girl can put you in a predicament that. You have no business being in, and it can get you crossed up. You know, it's countless times it's happened where there's neighborhoods that have continuous beef for years over women, over um, somebody cheating, somebody taking somebody's girl, somebody, you know, just all, all types of things, man. And, uh, I mean, obviously, I don't know what could have happened it could have been you know what i mean the new dude with the ex or you know what i'm saying it, it doesn't matter all all it said was that they had an associated female in common and you know an argument transpired because that's that's just the main report that i read but i did see about three others that were really short which i might even read because they're so short so let me try to find them again and if i find them i'll read them okay so i found other reports but they all pretty much say the same thing. The only difference is the one that I read in the first the first report I read said that uh, Sammy Sosa was taken in with no incident. And then this one says that officers chased after Mesa and detained him in the 600 block of East Katati Avenue. A weapon was recovered. But that's literally the only difference. One says he was detained without any issues. The other said that they chased after him. Which one really happened? I don't know. Don't really care. But, um, so yeah, man, it's going to be a short video again. Uh, I just wanted to put it out there because I haven't seen anybody cover it. Not too many people knew about Sammy Sosa or Casper. If you were not from the Bay area, you, you didn't really know about him. He was more of like a local, uh, rapper out of Santa Rosa. So, but I did do the, do the interview with them and there were, there were a lot of people that were interested from the area to hear the story. Or to hear if I could get any more information. But as you guys know, if the case is not closed, I won't touch it. And if I do, I'm just gonna re I'm just gonna read the reports, which are not always accurate, as I already said. So if and when uh, more reports come through, I will. Add, well, I'll try to get a hold of Sammy, Casper, whichever one you know him by. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask him, like, hey, you know, is it cool if I read this report or that report? This one, I just read it because it was the first one that came out. But, honestly, I probably won't touch it until it's a closed case. And, uh, yeah, man, we'll see what happens. So, with that being said, it's going to be the end of the video. Just a quick one. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down under. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, as I always say, the goal is to make it out the hood and not stay in it. And I'm out.